everyone and welcome to the Mike from LA1 Network here on YouTube and welcome back to the Mark Madison My Career Road to Redemption series here in NBA 2K13. This is episode 3. Last episode he got drafted Lotto, Lotto to the Phoenix Suns. And in this episode, as you guys could clearly see by this Frank's baking new billboard, he is with the Phoenix Suns organization. You can see career timeline, 13th pick overall, and today he will make his NBA debut. His NBA debut with the said Phoenix Suns. And his first opponent will be the Golden State Warriors. And this is the third time I've tried to record this. Which also, I was trying to record this and I accidentally deleted the other two episodes. So here we go. We're heading back to the US Airway Center. Home of this year's Royal Rumble. And home, and home, uh, last year's Money in the Bank was will take place in Philadelphia this year. So here we go. Today we're making an NBA debut. So now I'm going to turn this up so you guys can hear the soundtrack. Here you go. So yes, if you guys can now clearly see, the Suns got a new court for this season. So, and this court design actually hit this this logo. Uh, uh, this court design could possibly mean a logo change for next season. That's what I could possibly be seeing here, here in Phoenix. So here we go, the first game. In this game, another Phoenix Sun series on the Mike from LA1 network. So this is probably the road to status is somehow lands in Phoenix. So here we go. So here we go. Gives it the fry. Fry. Once again, he's getting constantly ignored. And actually, before we get started, continue on here. I do apologize for this. It is time to tour the new court. I've already talked about the Raptors here in the U.S. Airway Center. There's absolutely nothing in here except the Mercury banner, which is supposed to be there, but it's not, so get over it. So here you see it. I have a feeling next season the new logo will be black, orange, and black, so they're going to be the Philadelphia Flyers of, of bat, the NBA. And I got to love the, new, the, the letter font for this season. And don't I keep don't I missing there? I I gotta flat out say I love it. The new number five. And then there you see the uh, and that's what I'd be seeing. That could what you're seeing right here could be the new logo. What could be the new logo of the Phoenix Suns? And now as for this, yeah, this probably needs a little work. That could be that could be a little bit of work if that's the primary logo. That would be a ripoff. So here we go. Mark Manson gets the ball for the first time and he will try and make a shot and misses. So here we go. So the Suns have a one point lead. And here comes the mad block. Nope, doesn't get it. It looks like he's gonna knock. Will make the shot on time, and there's a three-point play right there. So here we go. Here's Dragic. And I love the uh, different court the style. Center court is the plywood, but this court is the plywood, and and Manson just made his first turnover. And here comes the mad block, and he missed it. And there goes the map block, and there's a foul. And that was a good foul right there on Mark Madsen. So Madsen is out, and Lassie is saying it's not impressing the coach right now. So at the end of the half, we have a tie game. And oh, sh you know what I just realized? I forgot the Twitter thing. 
on the court, I mean, not the social media thing. And as you can see, Shannon Brown, a former Laker, is the leading scorer right now for the team. So here we go. And there you see the gorilla. And here we go. As you can see, the, the, the Warriors are wiping the floor of this Mavericks team. And oh, yes it does. Yes it does. Funny, honey, I found that just now. If you want to follow the Suns on Twitter, which, as a Laker fan, I don't know why you would, but if you want to, here is the here is the thing. At Suns. At Suns. Or you can visit their website at www.suns.com. I don't know why you would, but. And here we go, as we are getting the taste of March Madness. Here's which starts tomorrow, in fact. Well, actually, it started tonight, actually. So here comes the mad block, and he missed. Well, that was a good attempt. And there's... Ooh, that was a good shot there, but didn't happen. And there's Stephen Curry, and... And there's the mad block, but he was way too far away, so... Jared Jack, Jared Jack got him there. And there's an assist right there, and uh... And actually, speaking of that waterfront arena, gotta say that that could real do really good for San Francisco. But it's Pierce 30 and 32. Wait, oh, that's right. Yeah, I think I know where that is. And there's the mad block. And he does not get the good shot defense. Yeah, I think that's close to AT&T Park. I think that's where it is. And there's Mark Madsen. And there's his first points of the NBA. There's a mad block and he misses. And there goes his teammate great again there. So here we go. Mark Manson begins his road to redemption. Which he was named one of the worst players in the NBA lot in the modern era. And here come the Suns. They're making a comeback here. So here we go, Dragic gives it to Manson. Manson is going to make a shot and he gets blocked and there's Michael Beasley, a, a close friend to Mr. Phoenix Wright. Yeah, you may, you may remember, you remember him. Yeah, and he'll be, he'll, his next game, will, game two of his series will be tomorrow, along with games four and five of the Reverend Lovejoy series, uh, the Timothy Lovejoy series, pardon me. At the end of the third quarter, the Warriors lead the Suns 71-58. Time for the advertisement, first one of the series. For November 2nd, and speaking of Golden State, look who's here. And both teams are 0-0-0, except for Grizzlies, because they're 0-1. So here we go, he stepped in and about 58 seconds left, the, the Warriors are down by, are up by one. So now he's guarding against David Lee here. We're not talking about the Lee from the Sly Girls people. Boy, would this be something if Mark Manson became the hero. And there you see the LaBelle block, and no, and there's Green! Oh no! Three point lead here. And 
And there's Manson. Misses. So it looks like the uh, the Warriors may have gotten this. And there's David Lee. There's the bell block. Nope. And there's a personal foul, and that should just about do it. No, it's on the Warriors, so this should not be doing it. So that's the only way we can win this thing. So there's Brown for three. No, and the Warriors win. So a very close contest. Four, four, heartbreaking loss for the Phoenix Suns. So Mark Manson, the rookie jitters, is over. And, and how bad was that? It was a loss. Stephen Curry is your player of the game. So now it's time to go to the press conference. For the first time as Manson faces the 2K press. Oh boy, if you guys watch this show, you know which button I'm going to press. Here. What does my future hold? I'll give you a few possibilities. Uh, multiple MVPs, multiple All-Star games, multiple rings, and a whole bunch of all-time records when all is said and done. I expect to be in the Hall of Fame one day. In fact, I'm already thinking about what my election speech will sound like. One day, baby. You'll all see it. I got a long career ahead of me first, though, so just be patient. Yeah, just grab a beer and be patient, people. Yeah, so let me turn this thing down a bit so I don't want to get a copyright strike. So, yeah, so now let's take a look at the social media aspect here. As we take a look at the social media, and I turned it two down there, I do apologize for that. And, yep, you bad, bro. And here we go, we got our sit-down conversations, which... We're going to see that at the end of the today's episode. So as we take a look here at the social media, and yes, we got the thing here. As you can see, as you can see, change to the bench. Get, get the Rook some playing time. Let's see what he can do already. Get a couple more shots. We would have won. NBA debut of Mark Manson, P.S. It's just a long career with the Suns. Well, I don't know, Buker. He could have that possibility of getting traded. Uh-oh. Here comes Andre Drummond. Looks like I'm getting some rest in the fourth quarter next game when we met up on you. When we're up big on you guys. Hashtag easy win. Okay, Drummond, you're going down. Wait, are we playing Drummond next? Oh, yeah, we are. We're playing the Pistons. They're 1-0. So now, without any further delay, let's head back to the U.S. Airways Center. And look who they're here facing next. They're gonna, the Suns are going on a Florida trip, which will end with a trip to South Beach against the Miami Heat. But before we get to that, let's take on the Pistons first. Well, this is the last video of the day for me, so I could, so I hope, but not on with me with this game. Oh, no. Oh no, we're actually gonna, oh no, we're gonna play, oh no, we're gonna actually hit this thing, we're actually, I'm gonna hit this game on my, be it my career series, so here we go here, so, so here we go, there you see the fact that so, so here we go. As you can see, this new court makes the arena a lot brighter. So here we go, 13 to 4 in favor of the Pistons. So oh boy, so we may be this Phoenix may be in trouble. So here we go, man-to-man -man defense. That's the guard against this guy. And here's Jose Calderon. Which, why is he doing there? I have no idea. So I may show this off in the next episode as well. And there's a shooting foul on Shannon Brown. 
So here we go. He's a the coach is now starting to be impressed, and the Pistons are down 32-21 when when things here. And there's the dynamic goals thing here. So here we go. Reduce the gap. And Shannon Brown gets there, but is he gonna pass it to Manson? Nope. And there's a jump ball. So Manson is gonna be. Well, here's Greg Monroe, and here comes Calderon. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Don't want to get a leave assignment. The first one of the series, and uh-oh. Here we go. Here goes Calderon. And there's the... There is a good shot defense by... So here we go. There you go. As you can see right there, the Pistons were terrible at defense. Here goes this Chakibo. Uh, so here we go and misses. And there's Dragic. Who is ignoring Manson just like at the rookie showcase and he makes a shot. There's a mad block. Misses and there's a good shot defense. And there you see another bucket. And there's Calderon and misses. So here we go. A minute 17 left. There's Shannon Brown and he misses. And there's Jermaine O'Neal who gives it to Shannon Brown. That time he misses and the Pistons take control. So here comes Manson. Gets a good transition to defense. Wow, and Jabico. Jakibo. Is up there so less than a minute now. And once again, he's being constantly ignored. And here's Manson's first chance of holding the ball for this one. He will pass it to Beasley. And no, there, he doesn't get an assist. So here comes Brandon Knight out of Kentucky. And there you see a mad block. And no. Dude, this is my guy. Get out of the way, 20. Jeez. And there's Corey McGetty, a former Clipper. And there's Jermaine O'Neal, who's going to give it to Michael Beasley. Beasley gives it to Manson with 12 seconds left. He will give it to Dragic, who gives it to Shannon Brown, and he will make it. And there's a three-point play with eight seconds left. No good. So at the end of the half, the Pistons lead the Suns 34-28. Now it is time for the Sprint Halftime Report for the last time today. And Greg Monroe is the leading scorer for this game so far. And there you see the Gorilla, which, even the new color scheme, I'm... I hate to say this, but I think he's probably time for him to get retired. Now watch, I'm probably going to get a couple of hate messages saying, and of course, saying, get, your characters don't belong in Phoenix, <laughs> or something like that. So here we go. There you see Phoenix, and once again, he gets a bash shot selection, so out of C-plus range for right now. So here we go, 11 point deficit for Phoenix. So here we go as Manson trying to get it, th trying to get it. So he gives it to Beasley. 
Beasley gives it to Manson, and he's going to go through the paint. Loses the ball, but Gartak got it, and there's the, there's the thing, and now they're down by number nine, number nine, number nine. So there's Knight. He did the mad block early, but there's the Gartak block, and there you see another block, and there's a good shot defense, so he's back at C+. Plus. And Grady's got the foul. So, Manson's been moved to small forward. So, there's Maxiel, and he will get it, and... Wow. Fail. There's a Grotich. And there you see Grotich, and he will miss it. And there's Gortat, and he misses. There's Luis Scola. He makes the... So here we go. Manson could have a possibility of, of a block here. And he blew it. Alright. Come on, let's go. Come on. Manson, come on. So there's Manson and he will... So here we go. Here's Drogic. Who once again is ignoring. And oh, and here we go. There's Singler. There's Linger. And he allowed him to score. Now he's barely in C plus range. So an assist could help. As there's Scola, is he gonna make the shot? Yes, and and kiss that assist goodbye. So he's now hanging by a fingernail in the steep rust range. So here's Rogic. He will give it to Manson. Manson is going to try and make a shot, and he will miss. And there goes the C minus, the C, the C plus. So he's back at C range again, but and now he's back. Now he's definitely back at C, C average range. But an assist could help get back to that close range. So here we go, Rodney. We'll pass it to Scola, and he will get it. And just like that, he is almost back to C plus range. And for one, also for good one, one other thing, he's back. He's on the score sheet for this game, but not in the points category, but the assist category. And oh boy, he's probably gonna be sick by the time this is thing. So, timeout. So back off for passing. Ooh, I guess that was my fault because I hit the A button there. And there's Shannon Brown who gives it to Manson. Manson's trying to get his first point, but in the end he gives it to Shannon Brown and he will make it and he's back at C plus range. What the? And who's the guy? Who is it? So now an eight point lead for Phoenix. And for one thing, I would have gotten more shots. We would have, the Suns would have won. And there's Max Seal, and he will make it. And now it's a 10-point lead for De for Detroit. So with five seconds left, it looks like right now the Phoenix Suns will enter it with a 
it's a seven point deficit entering the fourth quarter. So at the end of the third quarter, the score, the Pistons lead the Suns 50 to 43. Time for an advertisement. For November 4th, Ooh, that sounds promising. And why are the Knicks 0 2? Treason, I tell ya. And here we go. As Manson's been moved to center. What the? Alley oop, are you kidding me? And there's Beasley, and there it is. He, he gets the dynamic goal. So either way, he could have points no matter what. And there's Will Bynum, not Andrew Bynum. And there's Andre Drummond, and there's the mad block! And he's at a B minus. So he's in perfect shape. So here's here's Madsen. Madsen gives it to Fry. And there's an assist. So just like that, the Suns are within three. And there's Drummond, and there's a loose ball foul, and he gives us the game tip. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Willa Willa and he's loving the effort. So at the end of it, the piston. Oh, the Suns lose again by one point. You gotta be kidding me. One point. Yeah, thanks, Lum. So Anson was like, okay, I should have been out there. So he gets 72 skill points out of that one, which is probably outstanding. Your player of the game, I think it's Calderon. Let me see. Nope, it's Greg Monroe. Oh, it's time for the press conference. Let me turn it up here so you guys can hear the question. It was another rough fourth quarter for you guys, as you weren't able to seal the deal at the end of the game. Do you feel like your team lost this game, or the other team won it? Um, where's the op? There's... We lost it. This one's on us. We didn't execute in the fourth quarter like we needed to, and that made the difference in the end. The last few minutes is when guys got to step up and start making plays, and we didn't do that. But, you know, give them credit, too. They did what they had to and kept us from getting ahead at the end. But I really feel like if we had done a few things differently, man, we would have won. Well, that hurts when you lose by one point, and he had to be honest saying that he lost it. And you know what? In episode 3, we're going to see him design his shoe. So I'm going to have to think long and hard on the design of his shoe, though. So we're going... Oh, by one more question. Oh, I missed out on it. Darn. So as we, before we do that, let's take a look at the social media. Here before we talk to the GM for the first time in this one. Saying Andre G... I predict, right? Go Pistons. Well, don't forget, Drummond, he blocked you. The number one sportsman saying, I'm sure you grabbed a couple more boards like you did. Thanks for causing that loss. Didn't step out, but I know I was. Mark Titus said, made a real effort. The Suns over the top of the end. They just fell short as the Pistons get the last laugh. That was a heartbreaker. One point, though. Nothing to be ashamed of. Nothing to be ashamed of. But, however, he's going to get the last lap in this one. Because, take a look who they're facing next. The Orlando Magic at the Amway Center. But before we do, let's talk to the... Wait. Let's meet with the GM for the very first time as a Phoenix Sun. Gotta love it. By the way. 20 seconds, still half hour, so let's see. Hey, man, I just wanted to talk to you. Uh, you know, I feel I can do a lot more for this team. My scoring is something that could really help us. But I just need the ball in my hands a bit more often. Half hour. 
Well, that's really a strategy decision. I would say you should talk to Coach first about that, but just between you and me, I'll ask him about it. I do think you're doing a good job offensively. Yes, he is, and especially defensively. No doubt. All right, well, uh, thank you. And uh, good talk, man. I'll, I'll see you later. Gotta let that logo go down first, then. Voila. And while I will look into what we've talked about, for now, we need you ready for this game against the Magic. I know you'll be ready. He is gonna be ready, because the sun... Oh. 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 Careful. Sorry about that, folks. So that should just about wrap it up. So come back next time as the Suns travel to the Magic Kingdom to take on the Magic. And hopefully, he may take a tour of Disney World for a while you're done. See?